Morning YouTubers, this is Kim, Cajun Gold Wing Rider. I love a beautiful Wednesday morning. We're in the middle of May and uh, today's temperature is 73 degrees. Beautiful morning. It won't last long, but beautiful morning. I know summer's around the corner. And uh, I'll just give a few AC tips. Uh, basically, um, it's going to start getting really, really hot at the end of May for us, especially in South Louisiana. But uh, uh, I think some of the upper states have started feeling the heat also. And uh, you might want to start. Uh, in their uh, condenser coils, which is basically uh, washing the outside unit. Uh, you don't want to use any type of uh, high pressure type uh, hose or pressure washer or anything like that. Uh, basically, uh, garden hose is plenty, and uh, you want to put it on a stream, uh, not a jet type uh, flow. And uh, start from the top and wash it all the way down. Make sure your unit is off uh, when you're doing this, and. Uh, Clean it all the way around, clean the base all the way around the, the unit. Because if you don't, uh, basically, when you turn it on, the trash that just washed off around it uh, will just be sucked right back up on it. So you want to kind of clean the area around the unit and make sure it's clean and uh, also uh, change your filter. You know, you need to inspect the filter. You know, people have different types of filters in their systems now. Uh, uh, the ones you pay more for last a little longer, but uh, you can't go by the, uh, the paperwork or the, the tag on the filter because uh, it's all about the area you live in. I tell this to my customers all the time. If you live on a gravel road and you have kids, you have a lot of traffic, I'm going to be honest with you, your coil outside is going to be dirty and the filter inside the house is going to be dirty uh, uh, quite, uh, quite often. So you might be changing it every week, every two weeks. And then you live in a place where there's not a lot of dust uh, or nothing like that around the, around the property. Um, uh, the filters seem to last a little longer, and if you have less traffic, you know, if it's just uh, all the people like me and my wife, uh, you know, we don't have any kids no more, so we don't have a lot of traffic in the house, you know, so uh, in and out the house, so the filters naturally they last a little longer. So that's that's a few helpful hints. Also, I know I come across this in the past also, um, and like I said, each each location of every, every AC is different in each house, so. But I find that the closer the AC return is to the kitchen area. And if you have a couple that uh, cook a lot, uh, it's a must that they use their hood vent on top of their stove. Uh, because if they don't, what ends up happening is the return will suck up the grease uh, from what you're cooking. And uh, the filter becomes uh, loaded up with grease and then it becomes sticky. So it actually attracts the dirt and, and holds the dirt faster or, or, or easier to the, to the filter. And, uh, and to me, I find it causes it to stop up even faster. So it's very, it's very, very important that you maintain a, a good airflow through the return. So this is a few helpful tips from Kim's AC and refrigeration. And the Cajun Go Wing Rider. So hopefully this helps you. Uh, it's, just, it's not uh, that I'm preaching or nothing like that. It's just a, a few helpful hints. It basically saving your electrical bill and hopefully uh, uh, make your unit last uh, a little longer. You know. All right, folks. This is Kim, the Cajun Gold Wing Rider, signing out. Please like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Please have a blessed day.